Uh, Stephen, talk about uh, being down here and uh, and how you feel. You're 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 taking your time easing into it. Obviously, uh, maybe a, a little not coming in. So is that a little bit frustrating for you, uh, wanting to be out there? Yeah, of course. You always want to be there day one with the guys and uh, watching the guys go through their paces. You realise they're working extremely hard and. Uh, having to take it a little bit easy for, for a week or so, but uh, you know the guys have given me great, great help and great treatment, so I'm sure I'll I'll, I'll get there eventually and start start running with the boys very soon. Uh, what was that like yesterday when you when you did come out here? You still had your, your running shoes on, but you were in behind the draft pick there, uh, Nick Hagland, and just uh, helping him out and, and giving him advice and uh, you know teaching the youngster. Uh, yeah, it's great that um, you know to be involved and reminding myself of the the, the theories and the. The way that we want to do things, you know, is very important. But to, to help Nick and sort of a, a system and certain little things that are probably a little bit new to him, to be there to help him, talk him through it, and uh, he's listening very attentively and uh, very impressed with the attitude uh, the young man so far. And I'm, I'm sure he's going to be a great prospect for us in years to come. Uh, last year you uh, extended your deal with Toronto FC, happy to be here, uh, proud to be here, great for your, your family and everything else besides the city of Toronto and the football. I talked about uh, you know that discussions Bradley Orr mentioned, uh, conversations uh, with you uh, on uh, making that decision to, to, to come over because uh, for him it's still got to be a big move too uh, to decide to, to pack up and come over to America and Canada. Yeah, of course, it's a big decision and it's obviously when you're uh, a little bit older like, like myself and Brad, uh, it's not quite my age, but getting there, uh, you've got to discuss it with different people, family, friends, and make sure it's the right thing for you and it takes a lot of a lot of guts and a lot of ambition to, to make that step to come and want to prove yourself in a different environment, a different league with, with a whole set of new players that you're maybe not that accustomed to. So credit to him. and. Uh, We've got great competition for places in the squad now. Uh, like I've said before, if you're lucky enough to have that shot, you work extremely hard to keep it. And Brad settled in right away, and he's going to be a great addition to the squad. His personality, his, his talent, everything that he brings is going to be very important in the months ahead. Uh, Toronto FC hasn't had a, a strength and conditioning coach, I don't think, since Paul Winsper. Uh, talk about uh, bringing in uh, Adrian uh, Lamb and, and, and the difference that makes is uh, we see it here at training camp. He's like a general out there. Yeah, uh, I've known Lamy for uh, oh, 15 years probably, almost. So, you know, I know what he's about. And, uh, We've kind of took different paths through our career since the early days at Newcastle and bumped into each other from time to time. And most people I speak to, clubs that he's been at, speak very highly of him. He's, he knows his stuff, he's a fantastic coach and a good motivator. And uh, he's putting the lads through their paces and the lads have looked absolutely superb so far. Everything he's asked of them, they've just rolled up their sleeves and got in with it and that's the group that they are. So. He's, he's a lucky man to have guys like that to coach and we're very lucky to have him, uh, you know, with the expertise that he brings.